Welcome to our video series, Learn Rhino 3D in 11 Simple Ring Band Projects. In the skills portion of our video series, I'll take you through working with the seaplane and coordinates. A seaplane or construction plane uses Rhino's coordinate system. It's simply an imaginary plane that you do your drawing on. Because the monitor screen is two-dimensional, it's very easy to tell Rhino that X or Y coordinates is something you're drawing, but the Z value is not possible to know. So instead, we create the construction plane, and the Z value is located on that plane. In Rhino, each viewport has its own construction plane. Drawing commands usually uses the construction plane coordinates when you draw. Let's see an example. We'll go ahead and maximize perspective view. Let's go ahead and try this with a line. I would like my line to start on the x-axis at 10 units and on the y-axis at 10 units and the z-axis at 0 and extend 50 millimeters, keeping the x and y coordinates the same but the z-axis at 50. I'll go ahead and input the line command, press enter, and for the start of the line, I'm going to type in 10, 10, 0. The first coordinate is for x, the second for y, and the third for z. I'll hit enter. And now I want to keep my x and y coordinates the same, but project upwards 50 units. So I'll input 10, 10, and 50. The first 10 is for the x-axis coordinate, the second 10 for the y-axis coordinate, and the 50 is for the z-axis coordinate. Remember to note when drawing coordinates that we don't put any spaces, and we separate each value by a comma. I'll hit enter, and now I'll zoom out, and you can see that my line is projecting upwards into 3D space. Note the line placement. For the beginning of the line, I start at x equal to 10, y equal to 10, and z equal to 0, and for the end of the line, I still have my x and y at 10, and my z at 50. Hopefully now you have a basic overview of working with the Z plane. Using it can be quite useful in order to create specific locations for objects in Rhino's 3D space. Stay tuned for the next video, Working with Lines. <laughs>